Hello, today we're going to look at um, some basic laboratory equipment used in first year lab sessions. Um, we're going to firstly look at a spirometer which measures lung function. We are also going to look at a measure of strength, more specifically grip strength using a dynamometer. And then finally we're going to look at a cardiovascular measure of blood pressure using a standard piece of equipment which is a battery operated blood pressure monitor. This is called a spirometer. It's a small handheld device which has a flow meter inside. Simply collects data by inserting a cardboard tube. The operator then pushes the selection button up to blow. Standing upright, head facing forward. Operator takes a deep breath in and then is going to exhale as hard as possible for as long as possible. So deep breath in. And there will be a beep when the uh, device has finished collecting data. The selector can then be slid to the top setting called view. And this will now display four readings. The first one is titled FVC, and that stands for Forced Vital Capacity. The second one, FEV1, which is Forced Expired Volume in One Second. Third would be FER, Forced Expired Ratio. And finally, PEF, which is a peak flow reading. The device toggles between the four settings each time it beeps and therefore displays your results. This device here is a hand grip dynamometer. It measures grip strength of your forearm in kilograms. The device is first of all set up so that this sliding bar here allows a 90 degree angle with your knuckles when placed in your palm of your hand. You adjust it simply by altering that dial there. Next it's switched on using the on button and it should read zero. Now position yourself in an anatomical standing position. So feet shoulder width apart, arms down to your side, palms facing in. Next raise your right arm horizontal, perpendicular to your body, and squeeze as hard as possible, gently bringing the unit down to your side. Let go, and have a look at the reading. 57.4. Repeat this process three times on your right arm, and three times on your left arm. But alternate between each, so that there is uh, less amount of fatigue. So I'll reset, move to my left arm, anatomical standing position, raise to the side, and squeeze. And we have a second reading, 48.1. You may notice the difference between your right hand readings and your left hand readings. This is common if you're right handed or left handed. So to complete, take three readings on each arm and record your highest value. Okay, we're now going to look at taking a reading of blood pressure using this device here, which is an automatic blood pressure monitor. It's a simple device that has a cuff that needs to be fitted on your left arm. It needs to be switched on and started. The unit will then take all the readings itself. So firstly, position the cuff correctly on your left arm. Roll sleeve up. Gently tighten the strap. And ensure that the tube is exiting, facing downwards, in the middle of your elbow joint, so that you can freely bend your elbow. There's a green band just below that, and that is actually where the blood pressure readings take place. 
So they will actually clamp against the artery underneath the skin around that area there. So next thing is relax the arm so that it is nice and relaxed, no muscles tensed up, allowing blood to flow freely. The next point is that the cuff is roughly alongside the heart, so it's at the same height. Next, we would turn the, heart, the blood pressure monitor on, wait for it to zero, and then all we're going to do is press the start button. It'll take 30 seconds or so to collect some uh, readings, in which time the cuff is being pumped up. It's now measuring every time the heart beats and looking at two specific areas. First of all, the systolic blood pressure, which is the highest reading when the heart is contracting. And secondly, the diastolic blood pressure, which is the highest reading of pressure in between contractions. And we have some results there. This unit cycles through the results collected. Firstly, we have a systolic blood pressure over a diastolic blood pressure. So we can see here we have 149 over 102. It will then display P66, which is a pulse rate. So the heart was beating at 66 times per minute. And it will alternate between the two readings. The unit is quite simply controlled by an on-off button, a start button, it also has a memory which can be ignored, and also an inflation preset. This will always be set at 170 and can be left in that position. If it is not sufficient, the unit will automatically go to a higher level.